the cream of the matriculants, the Einsteins of 2013, they know this. What they don't know is where in the top 30 they fit. I think I probably got uh, A plus in uh, physical sciences, mathematics, uh, maybe geography as well, and life sciences. I think mathematics, I think. Yeah, because it's um, good in numbers and uh, throughout the year it was the best subjects for me. I think in mathematics and physical sciences, yeah, that uh, I'm sure about it. Still, the news surprised most. I was actually bathing and then <laughs> at that time when I got the call from the principal, actually I jumped out and then I, I, I wrapped the towel around and then just went screaming to my grandmother. I was at church singing while I got the news. In some cases, academic excellence is a family affair. My um, brother got seven distinctions and he told me I should beat him. So I took that seriously. <laughs> I really wanted to win him. We are happy Corneli was invited. Even her sister achieved five distinctions in 2010. Some aspire to this from primary school. I think grateful I told my mom one day in matric I will have all my distinctions and that's what I wanted to do and that's what I did. Education officials today were tight-lipped. The results are the prerogative of the minister and right now the report is with her. She will be making it public to the nation on SABC1. And uh, that's when the nation will get to know two things. One, the, the national pass rates and also the provincial pass rates. The following day, the learners will be able to go to the school or the exam center where they wrote the examinations to be able to obtain a statement of their results. The metric results are however expected to improve slightly. Stefina Komane, SABC News, Johannesburg.